other side investigates chemical cover-up. Thousands want to look at the Navy document that shows this Pasco veteran was exposed to toxic herbicides. Months after his death, the Department of Defense continues keeping veteran Lonnie Kilpatrick's file under lock and key. And the government claims Lonnie's records are classified, but 8 on your side, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews, you want to know why. Well, you know, veterans from around the country, as well as lawyers, are reaching out to me because what's in the file of this veteran who had a very classified position could be of the most utmost importance to tens of thousands who served on Guam. As his life slipped away in a hospital bed in early April, the VA informed Lonnie Kilpatrick it denied his claim that exposure to the toxic herbicide Agent Orange affected his health. I didn't walk out on them. They've abandoned me and they've abandoned everybody else. Our reports about Lonnie's plight got the attention of Congressman Gus Bilirakis. He requested another look at Lonnie's classified Navy records. He worked in a particular area where Agent Orange was definitely sprayed. In the 11th hour, the VA approved Lonnie's disability benefits. Days later, Lonnie died. I requested to see the evidence that showed Lonnie was exposed. Veterans and lawyers from around the country did too. The congressman's office responded it was unable to obtain service records or the exact information the VA considered due to the sensitivity of that information. That document is that's, the, that's our Rosetta Stone. Marine veteran Brian Moyer heads Agent Orange Survivors of Guam. We've got everything other than that one document stating this is what was sprayed there. He was at this location, and that will verify and validate everything we have been saying. Everything. The government denies it used Agent Orange on Guam. Following my report in 2017 that Lakeland veteran Leroy Foster sprayed the herbicide there, the feds began investigating and testing. I know for a fact they didn't test in areas where we clearly said spraying had happened. Thousands of Guam veterans want to know what was on that document locked in Lonnie Kilpatrick's file. We're not talking about what he did or how he did it. We're not talking about codes. We're not talking about where submarines are, are patrolling or anything like that. We're talking about herbicides. We're talking about weed killer, a deadly weed killer. And what's classified about that? <laughs> That's a good question. It is a good question. It's a question I asked Congressman Bill Arrakis last night during a phone call. He agreed to send a letter to the Department of Defense asking that the document be declassified so others might benefit. Mm. And they're not asking for an entire file here, right? I mean, they're asking for a document, yeah. so why not just open it, give the document that is being asked for here? Well, uh, officially, it's classified, that's why. But really, I think it all boils down to money, all about money. The fear here is that they feel by the Department of Defense that if they open the door, floodgates are coming. And there's a long line of people. Not only veterans, but the entire population of Guam. No right. question. You're talking yeah. about here. My goodness. Good stuff, Steve. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Sure. And if you have a problem you want Steve to take a look at, call our 8 on your side helpline. There it is on your screen. It's 1-800-338-0808.